So Jack, you know, you, I love that piece where you talked about everybody wants to bring you out for sales training, which you're brilliant at, sales management training, which you're brilliant at, but you got this third topic, culture, which you dug right. into here. Why, why don't they want to, and why is it important? Oh, well, two things. Yeah. Why is it important, and why don't they want to? So right. let's do why, why is it important. You bet. It, it's the people that work in our company that deal with the people called customers, yeah. prospects, clients. Um, if we can get our people in our company to wear a happy face, if they love what they do and they're happy where they're doing it, it's conveyed over, it's a transfer over to the customer, and the customer wants to do business with people that enjoy what they do. So what's in it for me, there's all kinds of data that I shared with the audience today that I could go through, but at the end of the day, people want to do business with people that enjoy what they're doing, create a great place for your people to work, let them have fun in the environment, and, and everything else will take care of itself. Why is there a resistance or a hesitancy? And it's yes. not as much as a resistance, it's just um, a prioritization. And, and I used a sentence about urgency versus important, right? Yes. Um, so the things that are in culture aren't urgent. And mm. what we tend to get fixated on as leaders in our business is all of this business urgency. Um, you know, the, the top line, the bottom line, and all of the uh, do it right, do it better than everybody else, be efficient, do these things, and economies of scale, and all the words that we use in all the, all the popular management books and everything. And culture feels loose. It doesn't feel like it's not something that's easily measurable. Um, when we listened to Fred today and he talked about the net promoter score, or the net promoter system, and it's all built around the customer, I, I love the concept of, hey, how about one around the employee, right? Yes. Because then, if we could get that numeric, if we could get that score yes. going on on the culture side, then we'd have our business leaders all chomping at the bit. Oh, what is our measurement of our score of our culture? I can yes. see it happening, because it's, now it's tangible. Yeah, yeah, you know, right? Made it measurable. right? You, you guys, you guys do a great job in gazelles in terms of all the metrics and the key performance indicators yes. and all those types of things. Where are those key performance indicators in the culture? You got it. And this particular line is like burned into my mind is this have to versus yeah. get to. So yeah. just say a couple of words about that. Yeah, yeah. So, so. I just challenge myself every time I'm building a company and I challenge my clients with the same concept. I want people to get up in the morning and not feel all beat up and feeling like, oh gosh, I gotta go into work again today. I'd rather be doing anything else but this. Yes. I want, I want actual people that get up in the morning and say, this is a great place and I have a blast doing it with the people that I do it with and we're doing some really cool and exciting things. And on top of it, there's all these goody things down the road if we do it well. Um, and there are companies that have that. And I've been an employee in both of those environments. And in the environment where I can't stand to go to work, it's like, get yourself out of it as quick. We, we get to choose every day. Every one of us is human beings. Why not create a place that everybody in the place says, and, and, and if it isn't working that way, then why don't we fix it? What? Why would you ever want, as an owner or a leader, to not have your company represent a place that says, hey, this is a fun, cool place to work? And if you start with they want to be there, then teaching them sales oh. techniques and, and managing them, all that stuff is just a hundred times easier, which I, is your point. I, I, I can't make people yeah. come in early. I can't make people stay late. No one can. But and have the resilience to handle rejections and all this stuff. Yeah, we're watching. We're watching companies that, in our lifetime right now, that have been, that are less than 10 and 15 years old, that are worth literally hundreds of millions of dollars, where the people aren't even living in a home or a, or an apartment any longer. They're living in the company. They they eat there, they sleep <laughs> there, they play there, their friends are there, and they work there. And they don't even make a distinction between the two. Right. And then. And if I, if I see that, you, you, the uh, I hear from a lot of business owners, uh, the Gen Y people, they just won't work. Right. Well, they don't want to work in your model. Right. <laughs> the, these kids will stay up for three days and nights playing video games. It isn't that they don't have capacity or desire, yeah. it's just that they want to channel it in a place right. that says, hey, this is something you'll enjoy. So, all day we've been hearing Culture Matters, Clearly, summary, it matters even in sales.
Uh, it matters everywhere, yeah. uh, and, and it big time matters in sales. Jack, thank you. Good to see you. Likewise. Okay.